Good evening, I'm Sophie Ryan with your Nine News update for the Sunshine Coast. Detectives are trying to recover thousands of dollars worth of equipment allegedly stolen during ram raids at businesses in Maroochydore and Caloundra. A 23-year-old man has been charged over the break-ins after a dramatic arrest in Landsborough. He's fired, faced numerous charges and uh, entered with intent. Uh, use of the vehicle and other driving offences. Local tourism operators are fielding a rush of cancellations following the decision to close our borders to New South Wales and the ACT. Our hope is that those Queenslanders who really want to support us come and do that. The state government has rubbished further claims from the LNP's Fiona Simpson that Malulaba Spit is under threat of commercial redevelopment. And RACQ Lifelight's newest recruit is a chip off the old block. Joe Combin is following in his dad's footsteps as he starts his career on the coast. I'm I'm actually very excited to, to give it a go and get outside of the hospital environment. That's the latest Nine Local News. Good evening, I'm Sophie Ryan with your Nine News update for the Sunshine Coast. A horrific crash at Imbul has left a 21-year-old man with critical injuries. He was flown to hospital overnight after the car he was driving hit a power pole along Yabba Creek Road. Temporary seating has been introduced on the hills at Sunshine Coast Stadium as part of a new COVID safe plan for the Storm and Bulldogs clash. With an election looming, state opposition leader Deb Frecklington has promised to fast-track construction of the Bells Creek Arterial Road if an LNP government government wins power. This is one of the priority projects that will get going as soon as possible. More than $5,000 worth of stolen property has been recovered following ram raids at Caloundra and Maroochydore. And a new home at Palmview will go under the hammer next month in support of the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. We're just amazed with all the support from all the suppliers and everybody that's been able to assist us in these difficult times. That's the latest Nine Local News.